Paperless Movement, your productivity, your way. Hey there, and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. You know, I'm a big fan of Apple Notes for quick note-taking, capturing meeting insights, and even building a single source of truth. Today, I reveal some hidden superpowers of Apple Notes that you might not know. Watch until the end of this video to find out how you can unlock the full potential of Apple Notes and learn how you can integrate it into your productivity system and business workflows. Now let's dive in. Apple Notes, the best note taking app to use if you want to build a single source of truth for your temporary notes. When I say temporary notes, what do I mean by this? I personally use Apple Notes only for temporary notes. These are notes that I might need later on that I don't want to forget where I just make quick notes if I go shopping and I need some sketches and things like that. How to build a proper knowledge management system. That's something we show inside the Payless Movement membership during our iCore Mastery course where we dive deeper into this, how you capture information, how to process information, where to places to make it actionable items out of them. And all this you learn inside the iCore Mastery course. So if this is something you want to set up, a productivity system end to end that works automatically for you, then you should check out the iCore Mastery course. Or if you're more interested in just in Apple Notes, there's also the Apple Notes course in there. That's the two specific courses that we offer along with many others like Notion, Todoist and many more. There are a few more things that I want to share with you. So one thing is that you can, when it comes to searching, you can search just by using spotlights. See, it shows me the notes that I've taken where I said paper notes. So when I click here, it goes to the relevant note. Another thing that I really like is the widgets. So I can actually place here widgets of the notes. So I use the note, I use this at widget and therefore I have quick access to these notes. However, if I press and hold and say edit widget, I can say what folder and then use a smart folder again, bring it up here and now you see this is the only node that has open tasks to do. This means all the nodes that I have open are tasks with I can bring in as a widget here. The same applies to my iPhone. I can have the same thing here as well. So you press and hold, bring in the widget and then press and hold, edit widget and then pick a smart folder. And again, it just shows you the node that it contains some open tasks. So you see how everything starts to work together. It's all about writing down your processes. What do you need out of this app? Do you actually need it for note taking? Go in the comments below. Let us know what you use Apple Notes for and how this might help you to improve your processes. But inside the Paperless Movement membership, we talk about a tool agnostic process, the tool independent process that you do, your work, your daily work. And once you figure out what you're doing, you will find the right apps and tools that work best for you. Maybe Apple Notes is not the case, but we can make it work. I start taking notes in a meeting. I make some quick checklists that I need to complete and I make a smart folder. So it appears inside the smart folder and now I have widgets. So without even opening notes, I see instantly the things that I still need to work on. You can just live from this one app alone, but just having it set up this way. And one last thing is another search feature. So when we open up our note again, and you go to the three dots on top, you can say find a node. So you could now just search for a word like start. And you see it finds even my handwriting and it also highlights the other thing. So now I could jump between the highlights that found inside the node. However, I can go here and say find and replace. And now I can say I replace start with stop. And you see it replaced stop. Obviously the handwriting wasn't replaced with stop. However, if you have then type text, it is a nice feature that not many of these kind of note taking apps offer to you to find and replace. Obviously, if you're in a Word document or Google Doc, that's normal that you use a find and replace feature. This is a way to easily do this even inside Apple Notes without copying out and bring it back in. So are you excited about what you just saw? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're ready to master Apple Notes and elevate your skills, join us in the Paperless Movement membership. Here you'll find my extensive Apple Notes deep dive where I show you in over one hour how to get the most out of this app. Plus, you gain access to many other deep dives and our iCore courses designed to help you tackle scattered information and boost your productivity as a business professional. If you join us today, I'm thrilled to personally welcome you to our community. 
where our co-founder Paco Cantero, myself and hundreds of like-minded members are here to help you build your productivity system your way. For more details, check out the description below this video. If you found this information useful, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our next video. See you next time.